scout. I'll finish this quickly. You're not hurt, are you?
Bravo work Come on, really? I'll finish this quick! <laughs> Victory is out. You're strong, but I'm strong. <laughs> You're the ones who liberated us from Inominat's domain, right? I want to thank you for all that you've done. You really don't have to do that. I was just acting in my own interests. If any Molochim still get in my way, I won't hesitate to devour them. Hey, hold up! Most of us are under the influence of Inominat's power and have been robbed of our free will. The majority of Malakim are too afraid of malevolence to even go near humans. Before Inominat's interference, we were a peaceful people. That doesn't matter to me. We get what you're saying. But if we go easy on anybody, then we'll be the ones who get killed. If you truly want to protect your friends, you'll have to stop us by force. Ugh. Wouldn't you agree that having free will means choosing the path you believe in? I suppose you're right. And that's why we too will work toward the future we desire. In order to achieve a perfect fusion of human and Moloch power, the Abbey gave Armadi a physical form. Specifically, they're vessels embedded with a formula that can manipulate mana. They call these objects Divine Artifacts. Is that what that bow is? Yes, this is one of the Divine Artifacts. We've decided we want to pass on the knowledge behind the Divine Artifacts and Armatization to future generations. Why would you want to do that? Armatization is dangerous. We want to enable humans and Malakim to coexist. What? In its current form, Armatization is a one-sided process, allowing a human to exploit a Moloch's power. But imagine if humans and Malakim could armatize with mutual awareness and consent. It could provide just the edge our people need to battle the great forces who seek to harm our world. Like the Lord of Calamity, you mean? Well, do what you want. It's another potential for the future. Yes. But I have one warning for you. The divine artifact intended for Inominat is already complete. You know what that means, don't you? Artorius himself will use the Divine Artifact to armatize with the Nominat. 
for the good of the future, we'll pray for your success in battle, Lord of Calamity. If you want to live, get out. Okay. Well, it's nice that we've tracked down a Nominat, but uh, now what's the plan? I don't think even Griffin could get us up there. And my guardian takes one passenger only. I don't think we need to worry about that. Huh? Well, looky there. A teleportation art. Looks like we are expected. For you know me not to fully awaken. They need me and Lafayette. Which means they want to settle this once and for all, too. Sounds good to me! Bring it on! Is what reckless idiots say before plunging into the unknown. Be more cautious. S sorry Wow. That is the first time I've ever heard Magilu say something sensible. A bad omen. Let's be careful and take a good look around first. <laughs> Belittling a faithful ally right before the final showdown? Do you not cry? If I prick you, do you not bleed? If you want to run, now's the time. Are you kidding? I've never felt so alive! You know, when we first met, I never would have expected you to stick around this long. Nor would I. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Not one time in a hundred do things turn out how you think they will. We push on through the trials and tribulations of each and every day. We suffer through hardships and failure. We lose the ones we love. And then we die. Do you think we were born into this world to suffer? Eh. What I do know is that if success was guaranteed, we'd never get anything done. Uncertainty is what spurs us onward. Forward we move, if only by one step at a time, towards somewhere different than here. Through sadness and anger and joy alike, life is all about that journey. Are you feeling okay, Mogulu? You're actually giving me sound advice for once. <laughs> Life's not all horribleness. We shouldn't be so quick to lay down and die. It's almost time, isn't it? If you keep being so nervous, you'll make mistakes at the worst possible time. 
You can't just tell me not to be nervous before our biggest battle. How else am I supposed to feel? You're always so serious. I can't help it. That's just how I am. Yeah. You never change. I have so changed. I was once the Abbey's loyal exorcist, and now I'm about to take on the Shepherd himself. And an Empyrean. That isn't what I meant. I know. I just needed to say my piece. After all, I'm an awfully serious woman. <laughs> We're lucky to have you, Eleanor. <sighs> I'm not sure it's right for the Lord of Calamity to be showing gratitude to an exorcist. Hey, what good is being the Lord of Calamity if I can't speak my mind? Hey, Fee. There's something I need to talk to you about. Yes? You can tell me anything. It's about your... Uh... Why does your hair always stick up like that? What? Are you properly drying your hair after you take a bath? You'll catch a cold if you don't. I am! I swear! It just always comes out like this. If you're sure. I mean, it's kind of cute. So I guess it's not a problem. I don't really want to be called cute. Then you look handsome with it. I think it suits you. That's a little better, I think. I'm happy to please. <sighs> I never know what to say around Velvet. No exorcists here, it looks like. But a whole lot of Malachim. These Malachim are the sublords who have packs directly with Inominat. Be careful. He's likely given them a share of his power. In other words, trouble. Not at all. We'll just whip out our knives and carve a path. Our path now leads to the Empyrean Inominat and Artorius. What a strange feeling. Yeah, it's not every day you make an enemy of the entire world and head out to cut down a god. That is certainly true. But what surprises me more is the passion that fills me. Yeah, you're leaps and bounds more stubborn and willful than any of us. I'll take that as a compliment. If you weren't, I don't think you'd have been able to make a pact with Lafay Seth. It's because of you, Eleanor, that I've been able to take this voyage around the world. You have my thanks. I also wish to offer my thanks. And look at you, kiddo. Despite the unfortunate company you've chosen to keep, you've managed to grow into a fine young man. Good on you. It's true, isn't it? It kind of makes me want to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> you said it, kid. Velvet gave me a name, and Eleanor became my vessel. Aizen and Rokuro taught me how to live, and Mogilu provided lots of surprises and laughs. All of that made me who I am now, and I'm glad for it. What about me? Didn't I do something for you? Grim taught me the ancient tongue, and Bienfu didn't do much. Bien, you're mean! <laughs> I'm kidding. Bienfu taught me to never be discouraged, I think. Oh, said you're so kind! Well, well. Seems the enemy's hate for us has galvanized our spirits. We don't know what's ahead. Stay sharp, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think we have a chance! Yeah. 
Sorry to cut you down. You're strong. But I'm strong. <laughs> Victory is ours. A forward die. Sorry to catch you down. I don't think we have a chance. Did you see that? I beat it. Scout. Are we ready for this? No! <laughs> 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 
Just wait until I... Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I was just getting warmed up. Are you ready for this? Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Another victory. Are we ready for this? No! You're just lucky I made it quick. Are we ready for this? hours.
Info worth Are we ready for this? Hey, is everyone alright? 
Ready for this? an odd thing to hang in the sky. Wasn't Inominat's vessel supposed to be the Earth? Well, stereotypically at least, gods tend to have a penchant for high places. Gods and other things. And other things? You mean birds? I'm talking about people like you. Birds. Birds fly because they must. Luffy said that a long time ago. That must be the answer Artorius was looking for. And yet, is it my answer? Oh. I don't think we have a chance! <laughs> <laughs> Good start! 
I unleashed all my power. Maybe I... Wow. Look at how high up we are. And how round the world is. So, the world is round. How did you not know that already? The horizon at sea has always been curved like this. Right. That's why you always see the masthead of an approaching ship first when it comes over the horizon. Give you to a site like this and you're still unimpressed. And you're gawking at the sights in our enemy's lair. Hmm. The energy's in this place. Yes. It's just as I'd expected. What is? I know what this temple is made of. It's crystallized energy drawn and condensed from the Earth Pulse by Inominat himself. To put it another way, this place is the Empyrean Inominat's body. You mean, we just dove straight into Inominat's belly? If you knew that, then why... I warned you, didn't I? Now quit making such a racket in the enemy's lair. You're right. Actually, it's not that different from the Earth Pulse when you think about it. Besides, if we want to defeat Inominat, then coming in here is our only option, no matter how tremendous his power. If we can destroy his heart, he can be killed. Yep, but in this case, the heart is Inominat's true body and Shepard Artorius himself. We might be the ones who get destroyed. This is not news, Magilu. It's too late to get scared now. for this? Are you ready for this? I'll cut. 
down anyone in my way! 